So remember when I told you all that I went looking at apartments and and I was going to pick up money to drop off the application fee to apply for an apartment and the woman told me that she already rented it. This was that day. Well, right before I contacted this woman and said that I wanted to take care of the application and everything, I got hungry, and since I was in the area, I decided to stop at Norm's. I love Norm's. I've missed Norm's tremendously, and so I stopped by to have breakfast. Initially, I was going to get, like, steak and eggs, but I decided to get an omelet, and let me tell you, that omelet was really, really fucking good. This is so bad, but it's so good. So when breakfast was over, that's when I reached out to the woman and I was just like, hey, I want to uh, I want to come by and fill out the application and drop off that application fee. So right now I'm pretty pissed off. I am trying to move. Y'all know that I hate where I live. I hate who I live around, who I live next to, who I live above. And so I'm trying to move. And I'm upset because I've been looking at apartments online. And the past couple of days, I've actually like gone on tours to look at these apartments. And I saw one apartment that I really liked. It was a really good deal too. And so I asked the building manager who was showing me the apartment. I was like, okay, let's do it. What do I have to do? Let's fill out the application or whatever. She was like, oh, I know you're looking at other places or whatever. Take your time, think about it. You know, if you really want to apply, you know, you can, you know, just come back later, you know, we'll fill out the application later. And the thing, that, the only reason why I agreed to come back later was because she was saying that the application fee had to be paid in cash. Like, she, you know, she was telling me, like, there was a very old school method where it was just like, you know, it was a paper application and you have to pay cash and you know, I'm like, okay, you know, I can tell y'all are a small outfit and maybe y'all do things old school. So that's cool. I was like, all right, bet. I'll get the cash and I'll come back and fill out the paper application. So that's what I do. And when I text her to, to say, is now a good time to come? This woman is just like, oh, I've rented that apartment. I'm like, you rented the apartment that I just saw? She's like, yeah. And in her text message, she says, you didn't fill out the application. And it just took every ounce of restraint in me not to just unleash a barrage of profanity and insults because i'm just like you told me <laughs> number one to wait and to come back and i mean you know i don't know maybe she didn't want to rent the apartment to me she's very nice you know very you know super nice to me i didn't feel any kind of way you know in her presence you know when she was showing me the apartment or maybe she just didn't like me or whatever but i'm just that the, just the waste of time you know just the waste of time and the expectation. And then with some of these other places that I've been looking at, it's just, you know, you can't get nobody to, you can't schedule a tour. Nobody's answering. Not everybody is doing virtual tours. And I'm just like, fuck, man. I'm just like, I just gotta do what I did last time. Whereas when, you know, I see an apartment, I see a space that I like, don't even look at it, just apply. <laughs> just apply and hope for the best. I was having such a good day. It's disappointing, y'all. This is disappointing. So yeah, after that bullshit, I just decided to go to the Grove and Farmer's Market. Of course, if I was going to be at the farmer's market, I just had to make my way to bar 326. And I was in a mood, so I had myself a couple of beers. But it was a good time. Saw some people that I knew, met some new folks, had some great conversation. And the reason why I didn't get steak and eggs at Norm's is because I knew that I was going to stop by one of the butchers at the farmer's market. And I was going to pick up a steak, which is what I did. And then after, I don't know, about like four or five beers, I would had my, um, my fill of, of bar 326 and I made my way over to Nana's Empanadas. 
so good. I got myself, I think, like a beef empanada. Just so good, so tasty. And I decided to walk to the grove before heading back to the car just to look at all the holiday stuff. But if you thought I was going home, oh no, no, no. <laughs> you thought I was going home, you don't know me too well. I may just see what's happening like in Hollywood or whatever. I may just, I may just see what's happening in, in Hollywood. Cause I took my dumb ass to Hollywood. Posted up at the elbow room. Had a couple of drinks. And a slice of pizza. I like their pizza, it's very greasy. You have to fold it in order to prevent the grease from spilling everywhere. It reminds me of a good New York slice. And after a slice and a couple of drinks there, that's when I decided to head on back home. So even though the day started off pretty shitty, it was still a pretty good day. Anyway, I'll catch y'all in the next one.